Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm here to share with you what I'm putting in my kids' Christmas stockings this year. This is such a fun video. We've got a new addition to our family this year, so I ended up having to go out and make some new Christmas stockings um, purely because Kmart decided to change their design on us, which is just not fair. Kmart, take note, stop changing the designs every year. Um, but I feel like these ones came out way, way cuter than our old previous stockings anyway. So this is just the $6 faux fur um, stocking from Kmart. Each stocking has been personalized with our names on it. So I've got one for every member of the family. I also got an extra one just in case because you never know, right? You never know. Matt, take note, I want more babies. Um, but I did get an extra one just in case so we don't go through this again. I will say I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well the heat transfer vinyl stuck to it given that it is very furry. Um, I did have one that I needed to replace which was Samuel's because um, it didn't go on very well but the rest of them went on really, really easily. And then I also just attached this cute little Mickey Mouse bell to it as well with some red ribbon just to give it a little bit of contrast. And I just, I don't know you guys, I am in love with them. I'd love to hear what you guys think, whether you think that they need anything else, some green or something on there. Yeah, I feel like they turned out so cute. I just love the little bell. I feel like it gives it something a little bit extra. And also I told the kids that they'll be able to hear when Santa came throughout the night because the bell will ring, which I'll probably be kicking myself for later on. Now that these have had their little moment of glory though, it's time to share with you guys what I'm gonna be putting in them. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. I am a mum of four beautiful children. I have Samuel who is eight, Jackson who was still born, Jacob who is three, and sweet baby Emily who is nine months old. So finding things that are cohesive can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, especially with such a big age gap. I do try really, really hard to keep them as close as possible to each other because they are from Santa. They all have to be the same. We don't want any fighting on Christmas day. So with that being said, let's start off with the food items first. Each year the kids get something food related. Now I know Emily is not gonna eat these. The boys are gonna get one and a half each. They're gonna be super excited about it. They get one of these every year. And Sam has already seen these in the store and he has commented that he hopes he gets one this year in his stocking. So they're gonna be getting their little candy cane filled with jelly beans. This is something that I put in their stockings each year. Like I said, Emily is not going to be eating the jelly beans, obviously. She's nine months old, um, but the boys will be able to eat all of them together, share them, whatever they choose. Maybe I'll open one up and put it on the table for Christmas lunch. Next up, we have bubble mixture. I feel like as a mum, you can never have too much bubble mixture. Um, these will just end up going in the storeroom and we'll open one at a time, but I did want to get ample bubble mixture for the summer season. The kids are getting a super fun water park for Christmas and I feel like this is going to go a long way with that. So bubble mixture it is for this year. The next thing that I found that I think the kids are really going to enjoy is bath bombs. They each have their own letter. So I have a J for Jacob, an S for Sam, and an E for Emily. My kids love baths. They don't have them very often because honestly they make so much mess and showers are just so much easier. But when they do, we love to make them super fun. And so I think they're gonna really enjoy these. Okay, looking at all this stuff, I have no idea how I'm gonna fit it into the stockings. But we do have some slushy cups. Um, like I said, every year I try and get the kids something useful. In the years gone past, I've gotten them some drink bottles and watches and hats and things like that. They really didn't need any of that this year. Um, we just have so many things already. However, I did see these in Big W. So this is a slushy maker. It's called a Chill Factor slushy maker. I believe you put the cup in the freezer and then you add your drink, you squeeze, and it turns it into a slushy. That's what the label says. So I hope that they work. If you guys have had them and tried them before, let me know in the comments what you think about them. Um, I just think that the kids are really going to enjoy it, having a slushy outside in their new water park, which you guys would have already seen. They're getting a water park for Christmas this year. Um, how cool will that be to be able to have a slushy in your water park? So they did get some slushy cups. And then for Emily, obviously, again, she's only nine months old. I picked up for her a new B-Box sippy cup. Um, this is the straw one. So this is the one that we've used. Jake still uses them now. They're from six months onwards. They've got a weighted straw. Honestly, the best drink bottle ever. I love them. They last and last and last. They go in the dishwasher. They come out fine. Never had an issue with them. I saw it in pink and I thought that is perfect. We didn't need another one. Um, but when I saw the pink one, I'm like, we need to get a pink one. We've got all the blue ones. We definitely needed a pink one. So she got her very own B-Box cup. And then to finish off their stockings, they've each got an outfit to wear on Christmas Day. So Jacob is mad into Bluey, as most three-year-old kids are. I saw this t-shirt in uh, Kmart and I'm like, oh, that is the cutest thing in the world. So it has little ears. Is that not the cutest thing ever? On the back, it's got Bluey's tail and then just the front. 
Um, that was so fun. And then I also got him some bluey shorts. He has the track pants in the exact same color and the jumper. So he now has four pieces of essentially the same set that he can mix and match with throughout the year. Sam, on the other hand, is mad into Minecraft, as you can imagine. Um, Eight-year-old boy loves Minecraft. So I found for him some Minecraft shorts and a Minecraft t-shirt. Again, these are just from Kmart. Um, he's gonna love that. He's gonna think it's the coolest thing ever. And then for Sis, she is getting something that she already owned. <laughs> I actually shopped her closet for this outfit. Um, so this is a cute little romper. It is nice and breathy and airy. She has a hard time crawling around with dresses on, so I thought that she would be able to move a lot easier wearing this on Christmas Day so she can get to all of her toys. And then I got her a little bow to go with it. This bow was just from Best and Less, but it matches perfectly and it's very cute. So that is everything that I got the kids for their stockings this year. They have a little bit of everything. They've got an outfit to wear on Christmas Day. They've got some bubbles to play with. They've got slushy cups. They've got um, bath bombs to have a bath and they've got their candy cane filled with jelly beans. So lots of fun things. If you guys haven't checked out what I actually got them for Christmas, go back and watch that video. Oh my God, you guys, I went overboard again. I do this every year. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do it every year. I just see things and I just, you know, you know, you know, if you're a mum, you know. I know I keep saying to myself, don't do it, don't do it, they've got enough. But I mean, it's Christmas, it's once a year and it's just us. So I wanna make it as magical as I can. Um, they're gonna have a blast. I can't wait for you guys to see what I got them if you haven't seen already. Um, and I'd love to hear what you guys think of the things that I did get them if you have seen that video. But for now, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.